Hello, and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We are welcoming aboard for our first show with her new title, Katie Hopkins, all the way from Great Britain. She is the ATP Truth Ambassador for all of Europe. Katie, welcome to the show. Thank you very much indeed, Barry, and thank you for my uh, exciting new title that I have. I'm very pleased to have that. And it's strange actually to be back here in the UK after three months on the road in America. I bet I've got a zillion questions for you. So let's just kick it off. So where you just left the US to go home, uh, we are in political turmoil, chaos of the post-election non-decision in a number of states. Let's start off with this one. How are we, the Americans, who can't figure out who the next president is yet, being looked at by the Brits? So from a personal perspective, I feel guilty for leaving. Uh, it's not like me to leave a fight. And I feel horrible about the fact that I'm not there on the streets. If I was in America, I would be on a, a plane to Phoenix or somewhere just to support and hold the line. From a British press perspective, the lying press, they're desperate to call it for Biden, desperate. It's all I hear is this anxiousness, this desperation to just call it for Biden. If they could, they'd have called it on election night. And then there's also this utter, utter lying where they're trying to mock the president saying he wants to count votes if they're for him and stop the votes if they're not for him. And of course, the president is not saying anything like that. So all I can say to you, Barry, is, is it's absolutely, it's sickening and it's heartbreaking to, to watch the lies being pushed out. And it, it mimics your lies in terms of the eagerness of people to call states for Biden. So obviously you've, um anticipated my question very well. I take it the entire mainstream media and everybody that has a microphone of any kind uh, is pro-Biden, anti-Trump, and just wants it over? Wants it over, has been delivered the script that says uh, this is a blue, uh, a slower blue wave. You know, the, the, the reason this is unfolding blue is because it's more of a blue sweep. You know, they've been given the same narrative. Um, they're pushing it hard. They love it. Oh, a thousand votes ahead in, you know, Georgia. They, that's the, the leader. And this, they keep using it. It's done in a really, it's done in a horrible way, Barry, where they say, oh, and listen to the chants, stop the count, stop the vote, stop. That's when he's losing. Listen to them, count every vote, every vote count. That's when he's winning. They're, they're using lines out of context to mock the president and to mock American patriots. And I just, it makes me want to run away. You know, I've done a lot of running the last couple of days for precisely that reason. I just need to run away from the awfulness of the lies. Yeah, we've, <laughs> we feel very similar on this side. So you toured America. I mean, you covered the territory that is not unlike what the Trump family did uh, every day, somewhere else. You saw incredible crowds. I remember we did shows together and you were just blown away by the support for the president. What did you learn about the depth of the Trump support out there? And what did you learn about America on your trip? Oh, just, it gives me shivers just even thinking about it. But uh, I think I learned the truth of what we're seeing if this election had gone how we know it is going to go and will go eventually. I still believe, Barry, I'm a believer. I learned the truth, the depth of the support for Trump from every kind of person, from the lady behind the till in CVS. I spent a lot of time in CVS, from the Uber driver, the Lyft driver in Dearborn, uh, in Minnesota, tell, I mean, sorry, in Minneapolis, in Minnesota, telling me he's now with Trump as well. The USPS guy with the blue hair, who I was certain was a Democrat, Trump supporter. The people that showed, who showed in Florida, when the polls are lying and saying an 11 point lead for Biden, 
when we actually turned around and produced a red outcome. That's the stuff I learned. It's the stuff I still believe, Barry. Nothing I'm hearing changes everything I believe in my heart and my soul that Trump wins this. It, nothing will change that. And nothing will change that in my life, actually. Uh, well, and I consider myself a good person that would always, if, I, if I'm told I've lost, I'll suck it up. Um, but I don't believe that. I don't believe we lost. Well, let me ask you then the big question. From the perspective of someone that has watched way too much news in the last month, I'm referring to myself, I would see 26,000 people in a stadium for the president and 26 people in a parking lot in a goofy white circle in a folding chair for Biden, who stumbled over reading from a teleprompter if he left his house. The outpouring of support was like nothing in my lifetime I've ever seen. It was as if it was the New York Yankees winning the World Series and having a ticker tape parade down Madison Avenue in New York. But that was every Trump rally, sometimes three, four, five times a day. So Katie, from your perspective, as an outsider who really knows the inside works because you were here, what happened? What went wrong? You know, we should make the point, Barry, and I know many people know, but these rallies didn't just happen in Alabama or Texas or Florida. This was Beverly Hills. And, and I watched people walk up to the rally and they were nervous and maybe they had never voted with Trump before and they were amazed. They were amazed by the different people there. So many black individuals being joyous, so many small children because parents felt comfortable bringing their children because this was uplifting. You know, the joy of our side and the dynamic of it was something that unlike I've never seen. Um, and in terms of what went on, I think it was fairly true to what we thought might happen was that the red wave, Trump support was so big that the fraud wasn't quite big enough. And when they slowed the counting or stopped the counting to bring in those additional ballots in white vans with unmarked or plates from out of town, they didn't bring in enough because they didn't anticipate the level of Trump support that there actually is out there. And I'm very reassured by news out today of, you know, from uh, Trump team saying, hold the line, we still will have this, the president will be reelected. Um, but the fraud and the stories of fraud that I'm sure your audience have seen has been everywhere. And of course, that's another discrepancy with the British press. Every single time they're on, they say, there is no evidence of fraud. Have they not seen the videos that we've seen? Have they not seen the guy flipping off a ballot and then screwing it up? I mean, how can they say no evidence of fraud? So let me ask you this. I'm going to put you on the spot. I did a show yesterday where I made a proposal and I'm going to make the same proposal to you and I want the Katie Hopkins expert opinion. I agree with you. I think the fraud is not only prevalent and commonplace, but on a scale maybe unprecedented outside of a place like the old Soviet Union or today in Iran. If indeed there are hundreds of thousands of ballots that have been rounded up and delivered that were fraudulently obtained, but they're on the real ballot paperwork, then when they're mixed in with the legitimate ballots, Katie, even if the Trump campaign in court is able to obtain court ordered or state approved recounts, you're counting the good and the bad ballots in the same pile and there's no way to discern which are the bad ones with the possible exception of, well, there's a bunch of dead people that they've already found that voted in Philadelphia or people in Nevada that voted that don't live in Nevada. Um, with those minor exceptions, the big numbers are gonna be reconfirmed. Therefore, the remedy in Barry's opinion, and I wanna get Katie's opinion on this proposal, ought to be if this gets to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court 
asks the lawyers for the Trump campaign, what are you asking us to do if we agree that there's evidence of fraud? My proposal is, instead of asking the courts to recount, which I believe will reconfirm Biden wins, and as of now, he hasn't yet won, my proposal is revote. And you revote in the states where the court agrees that fraud is proven. And it could be done in several weeks, no mail-in ballots, mm -hmm. vote in person, unless you have an issue like you're 85, you're infirm, you have COVID, you can't get there, but the number of ballots that come by mail might be, well, 1%, and the ones that vote in person are 99%. What do you think mm. of the Barry remedy for what's going on? I love the Barry solution. I think it's perfect. I completely agree that a recount is, is not the answer. That is not the remedy. Vote in person with ID, that is a remedy. And those who cannot, for obvious reasons, specifically request a mail-in ballot, and they have to have some form of ID or proof or whatever that thing that goes with a mail-in ballot that makes it okay. I heard today someone speak that this could in fact be sort of uh, classed as an advisory election or it could be classed as a invalid election. I think that's what we need. And I think it has to be in person. It has to be rerun. Um, and I think it has to be done quickly. Uh, because my fear as well is we need to keep the energy behind this thing. We can't go to this place that people quickly go to, which is, oh, well, you know, it's a fraud, but never mind. Yes, we mind. Yes, it matters. Yes, this fight goes on. Well said, and especially very well done for agreeing with me. <laughs> <laughs> now we need another, well, at least five justices on the Supreme Court out of the nine sitting justices to agree when the case gets there, Katie. Yes, absolutely. Today. Uh, really appreciate your time. For those of you out there that have not yet subscribed to our text message alert system, please take out your cell phones and type the word truth, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 88202, push send. You'll automatically be connected to our text message alert system. You'll get all of our shows, including everything with Katie Hopkins, uh, on your cell phone for free. And by the way, just in the United States, not overseas as of yet. Katie, thank you. And thank, thank you, you, our wonderful audience, for joining us today. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Nussbaum.